guys, it's me, Zombly, remember? I'm that one guy that sometimes makes videos sometimes, that people sometimes watch, and then sometimes comment on. Um, I've been gone a really long time, and for that I'm sorry. Uh, basically, everybody around me is getting, like, incredibly sick, and like, deathly ill, my wife included. She completely lost her voice for, uh, the entire weekend, and then she missed, she missed that Friday of work and that Monday. And she's very sick, poor thing. She just went back to work today. Um, I just got a day off from my job, so I figured I should record because it's been forever. Anyways, that's part of the reason why I didn't record is uh, I've been working to try to make her feel better. And then at the same time, uh, my job schedule is kind of all wacky and off the wall. And then uh, Il 2 Sturmovit Cliffs of Dover here got really complicated on me because I realized all these uh, squadron losses for the 610 that I was recording uh, weren't actually mine. It was like an all-encompassing global feature. And uh, if you'll excuse me, I have to cough because I think I'm coming down with the same sickness. So I'm going to mute my microphone real quick. Oh God! <clears throat> Sorry, I uh, I don't recommend that to anybody. Uh, don't don't do that. Don't get this. Whatever this is, um, I can feel it. It's already being terrible to me. Anyways, let's go ahead and click continue. Uh, the thing is, with the whole outside dynamic campaign sort of thing, I was trying to do basically ill two stream of it. Close to Dover was like, nah. You've got this too easy, buddy. We can't have that. And so, basically, my job just got a hell of a lot harder. So, it was encompassing all of the 610 squadron, whereas I think I was focusing more on the flight group. And whether or not I was, that's what's going to happen now. So all the losses that it's showing for the 610 squadron, I'm not going to count, because that's not my problem. I'm only going to count my wingman that I personally see go down. Because last mission, they returned all just fine, unscathed. Everybody landed at back at Littlestone, completely okay, and it said that I lost seven or more planes. So anyway, in the after-action report, I'll cover it a little bit more. You're not here for all the logistical stuff. We're here in the 27th of June, 1940, to see a strong chance of bombers attacking Alpha 5 at an altitude of 5,951 meters. We need to try to intercept them before they reach their target. The good news is, is last mission, I also became an ace. Um, six sorties flown with six, six victories, excuse me. Um, I believe it's five victories to be considered an ace, so I'm doing really well. Having said that, I'm probably going to get shot down now. Whatever the case, I'll return so we can see our patrol route, or our, I guess this would be our intercept route, because this is a mission that's not a patrol. How exciting, right? We're actually getting a bomber intercept. Um, that scares me deeply, though, because bombers are nasty and they will shoot you down. So anyways, uh, I'll see you guys on the intercept route screen, the map screen, whatever you would like to call it. It's a screen of a screen of some sort that is kind of screenish. So I will see you on that screen. I promise, eventually. I'm going to shut up now. Alternate F9. All right. It looks like the game loaded in, so let's go ahead and take a look at our patrol or I guess intercept. I'm just so used to saying patrols now. We're gonna take off from Little Stone, immediately do a big U-turn right over Dime Church, and it looks like we're going to head out towards Brooklyn. Oh, okay, we're, we're going to a borough of New York City. That's kinda awesome. Now, uh, we're gonna fly past Brooklyn. <laughs> I believe there's a Y in the New York spelling somewhere. Brooklyn, actually, it's not land. But that's uh, funny enough in my mind to make me laugh and try to make a funny comment about it. I'm operating on the intelligence of a sea sponge. Leave me alone. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to go ahead and it looks like uh, the bombers are expected around St. Michael's. Oops, as I get a text message. Where is my cell phone? I thought I shut it off and like threw it far away. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> There that is. Shabling. Um, so anyways, your microphone probably didn't even pick it up, so now I just sound like a crazy person. But when have I not? Anyway, uh, looks like St. Michael's is the bomber's target. We need to fly over that to intercept them, so let's go ahead and get started on that. I just thought I would show you guys the path we're supposed to follow. I'm going to do my very best to keep up with my squadron, because I need to physically see them get shot down or return if I ever want to count anything accurately. 
So, uh, let, let's watch me mess that up really badly, okay? Okay. Alright, looks like we're here on the airfield. Uh, looks like it's going to be four of us, counting myself. So, uh, it looks like a good day, too, which is awesome for us, uh, when we're trying to intercept bombers. So my computer chugs a little bit. So I think we need to get in the air immediately, uh, because bombers... So I'm going to try to take off nicely. It's been a really long time, though, so I'm probably going to crash embarrassingly. We shall see, I suppose. It's going to get loud and windy. I can't help that. Well, I could. I could close the hatch, but now I'm focused on not dying. All right, here we go. That was kind of a smooth takeoff. Let's go ahead and get that closed. There we go, now we can hear ourselves think. Let's get that gear up. Oops, not what I wanted. Slow down hat switch. There we go. Is the hat switch behaving? The hat switch is behaving, but my computer is not. My frame rates are in the tank. It's just like, no, I'm processing. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh, come on. I hope it better not do this the whole time. I swear to God. I think I may have added in a little too much ambient planes and stuff. So I don't think it's so much a function of my graphics card at this point, but more of my poor processor chugging to try to add in. Because I kind of went on the extreme end. I mean, I know I'm on the smaller map, but I think I added in the amount of planes I would expect for, like, the big map, if that makes sense. But uh, I guess that can't be helped now. You have my apologies. The gear are up, correct? Yes. So if they're idle and it looks like the up light is on. There is my flight group taking off. So basically there's a squad. Oh my god, come on, frames. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so basically there's an all-encompassing squadron and there's several groups within that squadron. Oh, I really need to um, turn this down before my engine blows up. Oops, and I paused the game. That wasn't a frame rate, that was me hitting the wrong key. I hope I didn't bork my engine. I left it on, like, full pitch forward on the takeoff there. Alright. And I've already lost them. That is outstanding. Okay, there's, there's one of them. Let's see if we can't catch up with them. There's another under me by a couple hundred feet. Hopefully he's not going to climb into me, especially because I'm doing a barrel roll like a derp. Okay, here we go. I'll just chop throttle and try to keep with them as best I can. Let's not overshoot them. Anyway, uh, it's just going to be me trying to keep up with these guys while simultaneously looking for uh, bombers to kill myself with because I'm going to fly straight into their tail guns and I'm going to die a miserable death. So, I'll see you guys when that happens. Hopefully by then uh, it'll process a little bit more on the machine. It says I'm getting 55 frames a second now. I will take that. It's better than the 13 it was dropping to earlier. I think it was just kind of loading everything in. I should have given it a little bit more time. But at the same time, I didn't want the bombers to get a big lead on us. So, uh, it's going to be boring stuff from here on out. Just kind of flying, trying to keep formation, and searching. Blueness everywhere. Blue skies of blue. Anyway, I'll see you guys when the shit hits the fan. Well, we're way the hell up here now, but still no sight of anybody. No contacts, nothing. No little puffs of flak, no little shimmers of light off of canopy glass or windscreen glass, nothing. Um, and we're still climbing, too. Uh, apparently 5,000 meters that switch. 5,000 meters is way the hell up here. And so, you know, it's something. Still got an eye on my group there, flight, or whatever we want to call it. I think it's flight. So you have a squadron, which is a smaller part of the larger group. And then you have a flight, which is a smaller part of the larger squadron, I think. <laughs> Perhaps I should have done a little more research before I jumped into this kind of crap. But anyway, my flight here has seen nothing, nothing interesting, 
nothing. Not a, not a thing. Um, yeah. Appears the game has settled down, though, on my processor, uh, because now I'm still... Oh, no, I spoke too soon. Son of a bitch, what is my processor doing right now? Besides pissing me off, I mean, besides the obvious. Sounds like running in the background. I probably have a virus or some shit. I better check that out. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. It, it keeps chugging for some reason. I don't know what it's trying to load. I don't really want to look at my map because I'm afraid I will see things that I don't need to be seeing. I need to turn off everything but myself and my own planes. So it looks like we've almost finished this part. I better fly the course here. Stay the course, man. Stay the course. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and close that out. Follow. Ah, crap. I lost him again. Why do I always do that? Oh, well, more of the same, I suppose. We're just gonna basically keep doing this until we die of natural death up here in the air, because uh, I think that's the only thing that's gonna happen. I hope it's not like another episode 4 where there was absolutely nothing. Because sometimes that happens. I mean, I don't know. They said intelligence reports, but they could be wrong. I don't see any flak bursts anywhere. No bombers. At this point, I don't want to keep climbing. Because I think we're way the fuck up here. We don't need to be any any higher up than this. Man, we're already, like, really, really high, man. We don't need to be, like, this high, you know, man? Just dancing to the hum of your fridge, man. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back. Hopefully, this time with action. Well, I think I found something. There's a bunch of hurricanes chasing a bunch of 109s, and I have the altitude advantage, so let's go hurt them if we can. Or ourselves, depending. Don't want to rev my poor engine. Alright, just trying to bleed off some speed, which sounds Ridiculous. That's probably because it is. Don't worry about what I do. I just want to hurt some things. Oh, actually, he's trying to tear up that hurricane. Um, I might be doing them a favor. Ugh. Or making myself black out. That's also a possibility. That even came close to getting him. But it was a good try. Gave it the old college shot, if you will. Oh my god, there's actually a giant furball of 109s. And now I'm a little bit concerned that I may have gotten myself into more than I wanted. Let's get these guys, since that guy looks pretty well taken care of. Let's see if I can work on this dude. Make sure no one's behind me. Clear. So I'm in the middle of a furball of hurricanes and 109s. I think we might be outnumbered. Barely, but still. Okay, I thought that guy was coming towards me head on, so I just wasted ammo for no particular reason. Oh my god, there's a guy behind me. Let's give him the old split S. I'm gonna die. Because I think he followed me through that split S like it was nothing. Almost lost him. He's gonna cut back this way, I think. I think I can outturn him. Yeah, there he is. Let's see if he'll cross under me. There he goes. Hey, buddy. You wanna shoot at me? I'll shoot at you. Oh! There's another one right there. I think I missed all of those. 
guys are really outrunning me. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not good. That's really not good. Nor is the ground being so close when I'm being shot at like that. Oh, no! Uh-oh. Well, this is the end. I don't know if you guys saw it, but somebody... That guy right there that just turned into a giant fireball clipped my wings. I looked at the very last second, and you can barely see it, but uh, apparently he had clipped my wing, and it chopped it straight off, and I was so low to the ground. It's ironic, too, because at that point... I was really hoping to uh, pull up to gain some altitude in case I was hit. So I was in the process of pulling up, and I don't know if that caused me to bleed off just enough speed. Somebody, I'm hoping it was an enemy at least, it would be really embarrassing if it was a friend, but uh, somebody had taken my right wing off, there was nothing I could do, no control, too low to the ground to bail out, so, uh, oh, how, how, how pleasant, a, f a field of flowers next to my, my corpse that is now smoldering. Um, <laughs> anyways, I guess that would be the end of Pilot Officer Trent Baxter, a.k.a. me, Zombly, and uh, this particular career with the Spitfire. Um, looks like there's still quite a lot going on over there. Oh, that guy almost didn't make it to the sky. He almost clipped that hillside. I wonder if I can zoom out enough. How far can I zoom out? I think this was all the hurricanes involved. Um, I happened to spot this just as pretty much everybody else from my squadron died, so I went and got my or not died, uh, landed. I'm the only one that died. I got myself killed by uh, oops, trees and stuff in the way. Yeah, I can't, I can't follow that action. But anyway, I spotted the hurricanes fighting with the 109, so I thought I would jump in, um, especially because pretty much everyone else in my group or flight, whatever, had decided to land. So. There I am, right there. Mm, toasty. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, thanks guys for joining me, Zombly, with another episode of Iltu Sturmovic Cliffs of Dover. I appreciate you guys watching and joining in. Uh, maybe next time around I'll try to figure out um, if I want to go with like a 109 career, or I'll even try maybe a bomber squadron. I'm not very good at bombing in this game because it's a hell of a lot more complicated than B-17. Um, it's really hard to set up all the controls, and I have to pretty much set up every single control involved. And I'm kind of lazy, so, you know, there's that. Whoops, I'm adjusting the uh, shelf that my mouse sits on, so it's going to go all wonky. But anyways, I need to wrap this up because I'm blithering. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you guys on another episode eventually. Uh, but that's it for this one. Thanks again.